Well, I saw a Facebook post that was put up by a doctor at the country's largest um, referral hospital. And it was a simple post just saying, you know, if you're wondering what to do right now with regards to COVID, go to your local hospital and ask them what they need. So when I went there, they took me into what is now their um, COVID isolation unit. It was initially an infectious disease unit that was set up after Ebola, but now it's being repurposed for uh, COVID. And it was literally just a building with beds. There were no medical tools in there. Um, there were patients there who were waiting for their tests and hadn't received their tests. Um, and, you know, the doctor in charge was like, we have a big issue of cross-transmission here. I have patients who are both negative and positive, but where I have to use the same tools that I'm using in the general um, resuscitation ward in here because we don't have enough tools. And I was like, well, let me see what I can do. I went home and immediately called like one of my staff. Can you please go around to check what these if these things are available, because I assumed that they would not be available in Sierra Leone. I thought that was the issue. If it's not in the hospital, it must not be in the country. But we found them everywhere in the pharmacies. And I was like, OK, um, got some invoices. And I just called about six or seven um, just people I knew were in business and might have some extra cash and who I knew that if I spoke to them, care enough about this community uh, that they would take action. And by my fifth call, I got one person who said, you know what, I have a group of friends in my organization, we'll donate the cost of all of the equipment for the 13 beds. And I was like, it really, in four days, we were able to get the hospital everything they needed in terms of vital tools. And um, it, it changed the game for them. So how much were you able to raise in terms of you know, money? It's been three and a half weeks. And so far, including today, we've raised over $40,000. Um, that is half split um, donations coming in from a GoFundMe I set up online and also local businesses. So the generosity has been incredible, but the need is also still there. As the virus um, spreads across the country, other facilities are reaching out to us. Doctors are reaching out to us. Where have you distributed this money and this equipment? So, so far, we've distributed about $19,000 worth of equipment, medication, and hygiene supplies to seven facilities, which is a total of 284 COVID treatment beds. So how dire would you say the COVID-19 pandemic is in Sierra Leone? Our case fatality rate is much higher. It's, it's gone between 5.3% to 6.4%. And the reason why our case fatality rate is so high is because of the existing challenges within our hospitals, right? So in Ghana, people will be on ventilators for weeks and then they pass away because they have pre-existing conditions. In Sierra Leone, by the time people get to the hospital, there's nothing that they can do because they come too late or there isn't enough oxygen, there isn't an oxygen mask. So the most important thing is for healthcare workers and hospitals to have urgent medication for people who have pre-existing condition like diabetes or high blood pressure, part of the medical supplies that we do deliver is providing like stock for insulin, stock for um, heart medicine, so that at least if a patient comes in in the middle of the night, whenever they come, whether they do have COVID or not, there is that like emergency supply. And, and I think that's why the work we're doing is important. And that's why all of the doctors are my best friends. And now they call me like, Vicky, could you send us a couple oxygen masks? Could you send this? And I'm happy to do it because ultimately, I think the power of having a platform is being able to use your platform for the service or in service of others. I imagine that maybe the funds are still, you know, flowing, coming to you. Uh, if you are able to do anything more, what are some of the most critical areas that you would like to address uh, because of this pandemic? We have 16 districts in Sierra Leone. Every district has a major government hospital, and that major government hospital su su uh, supports community health clinics, et cetera, et cetera. What I want to do is to make sure that just at a baseline for basics, all the medical equipment are there, and every three weeks, every four weeks, we're able to provide medication to frontline health workers. The minimum we can do as citizens, as private sector, is to support them. And maybe somebody might be wondering, well, isn't this something for the government to do, you know? But I feel like all of us individually, instead of asking what the government to do, you have to check yourself and say, okay, well, what role can I play? What can I do? And that's kind of what got me, got me to where I am today.